Hi, this is Pavel from Firebase GenKit team, and in this video, I'd like to talk about multimodal generation with large language models. So, what is multimodal generation? Uh, so, uh, imagine like you have a, a photo or an image of some kind. I here have an example of an Eiffel Tower from Wikipedia, and I want to ask an LLM to do something with that image maybe describe it or extract some information, like maybe you can have an image with some data. Uh, and yeah, you want LLM to extract that data in some structured format. So uh, how, how do you do this with uh, with GenKit? So here in this example, we have GenKit configured with uh, with Vertex AI, and I have a, just a simple flow here, uh, just empty for the moment. And we're gonna add a generate call uh, we're going to make a call to Gemini 1.5 Flash. Uh, and uh, so Gemini 1.5 Flash is multimodal. So it means that it, it accepts uh, media as input. It accepts images and videos. Uh, so here we'll be passing in uh, as a prompt. Uh, so our, our prompt will be consisting of two parts. The first part will be a media part. Uh, and the media is uh, is a URL in this case. Uh, so it's an HTTP URL pointing to that uh, image on Wikipedia. And the second part is just basically our instructions. Uh, and, and you can provide them in different order. They don't need to be in this specific order. And you can have multiple images and, uh, you know, different text in there. So and here, yeah, our instructions is like we're saying, describe the scene. So we're going to save this. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and yeah, and, and we get our response and we extract the text from this response. So we're, we're explicitly saying, uh, g return me the text from the LLM response. Uh, and we can go to, uh, to our, uh, dev UI and here's our generate flow and we can go ahead and run it. Here we see, yeah, this is the text. The Eiffel Tower stands tall, gets the clear blue sky. So yeah, it's obviously, uh, you know, figured out what's in the, in the photo and it's talking about the Eiffel Tower. So yeah, so in, in this example, we're using Gemini 1.5 flash. So, uh, Gemini can take in images and, uh, and return text. But there are other models like, for, uh, imagine three. And uh, uh, Imagine can actually take in uh, text and generate images in, in response. So we're going to go ahead and actually change our prompt and say um, uh, a pen, penguin wearing a jetpack. If I could type. OK. Uh, and here we, we also have to give instructions that, that we actually want output format to be media. Uh, and we'll go ahead and from the response, instead of text, we'll be extracting media. So it is as simple as this. We're just gonna go ahead and make a call uh, to the LLM here, and we're just gonna run this again. And wait a second. Okay, here's our output. There's a penguin wearing a jetpack ready to take off. So yeah, just as simple as this, we, uh, we've generated an image with, uh, with the imagine three model. Uh, yeah. And in this case, our, our media, so like we, we can actually go and look at the trace. Uh, and here we see, uh, for the imagine three model call, we, here's our input, uh, role user content, uh, you know, the, the instructions and and back we actually get base 64 encoded media so yeah so it, it is actually uh just a um, Im image string as you know base 64 encoded so you actually have it have it in memory right here and, and and from here we can actually do something like like for example let's um we can take this image that imagine three generated and uh Okay, so take the response and grab the media out of it and assert that it's not uh, not empty. And from the described response, we're gonna go uh, grab the text. So yeah, so here, what's going on? So we're, we're taking, we're using Imagine 3 to generate an, an image. We take that image of the media from that response, passing it to the Gemini and, and ask it, well, here, instead of what's going on, 
uh, let's say I'll write a uh, like a story about this image. And uh, yeah, so it's uh, restarting. Let's go and run this again. Okay. There, it uh, wrote a story, so decided to call the penguin Percy. And, well, yeah, pretty cool. And we can look at the trace. So here, we, we now we see that there are two calls in our flow. There's a, a call to imagine three to generate the image, and we can actually see what image it generated. Okay, yeah, here's our image. Um, and and then it gets passed to the to Gemini, and, and we see here this is our base64 encoded image uh, with the with the prompt to write the, a story. Here's our penguin, and and here's our story back. So yeah, th this kind of shows that you can you know easily. Uh, wire these different calls together uh, between, you know, models that can generate uh, images and, and the ones that can, can consume them. Uh, and, like, of course, you can actually also use uh, this in dot prompt. So in this, in this example, I have a prompt file. So here it's just, uh, yeah, so again, Gemini 1.5 flash, and we're taking in the photo URL. And here it says, describe this image. I, in a detailed paragraph, and we're taking it in the media. And to call this, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, actually just gonna replace this uh, this Gemini call with the. Uh, okay, we're gonna get the prompt. Describe prompt, and then we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and say describe prompt generate. Uh, and here we can specify the input for the photo uh, URL. Just gonna go, go go ahead and copy paste this. So photo URL uh, is going to be response media URL, uh, and we're gonna assign this to uh, to a const and and return the text. So let's try and run this. Go back to the to the WI, generate flow. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah, so here it describes that, that the image depicts penguin wearing a small rocket-like backpack. Let's see, uh, if we look at the trace, uh, we can see that it's the image that it generated. Okay, yeah, penguin with with jetpack, and this is our prompt that we got. Uh, that where the input is this base sixty four encoded media, and the output this is the prompt that it generated from the from the prompt file, and this is the Gemini call, um, and yeah, it produces a story. Yeah, so this is just kind of a shows how easy it is to work with the multimodal models with Genkit. Thanks. Mm -hmm.